Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever in the world you might be watching. I'm going to show you a number of different ways to use AutoSum. Some are more efficient than others. What we're going to do is to look at this block of data here for various people uh, for what might be results in the numbers that we, in the dates that we see here. Down here I have a set of check boxes that we can tick off as we look at each particular uh, situation. Now, this will be very handy for uh, those who may be a little newer to Excel, but if you're a more advanced user, I'm sure you'll find some handy tips in the video that follows. So first of all, we're going to use AutoSum like most users do. And what they do, they tick in the first column, then they click the auto sum button and look at the at Excel's guess. Yes, it's guessed correctly. It's looked up the column and says, are there two or more numbers that I can add? What we'll now do is to copy, as most people do, that formula across by using the auto fill button. And there Excel has magically completed the numbers in the cells. So, so far, so good. We've used AutoSum like most users. So now what I'm going to do is to delete those answers in those cells. Tick AutoSum like most users. Now we'll look at using AutoSum by selecting data. If I select the data thus and then click the auto sum button Excel does exactly the same as it did previously it gives me the sum of all of the numbers so that's a very very quick way uh, to complete your auto sum calculation where you have a set of data remember however that Excel will stop at the first blank row or text that it finds in the data. But in most cases, we don't have things like cats and dogs in the middle of a, uh, of a set of data. So we can now delete that information there and put a tick in auto sum by selecting data. Now the next one is perhaps the most popular of all with more advanced users. They simply select the row in which they want the uh, numbers and then they click auto sum and their Excel performs its magic. So, so far so good. Very, very easy. Remember, select the row with the cells in which you want the answer. So now we'll delete those cells or rather we'll delete the answers in the cell and we'll put a tick in, use auto sum by selecting a row. Now what about if I wanted the total across for each of the months? I can use exactly the same procedure. I can drag down through the cells in which I want the answers. And what I'm now going to do is to click the auto sum button. And Excel looks across the row. It looks to the left because there were no numbers above. So that's how Excel works when it is using rows to add numbers. Obviously down here, there is a cell with zero because there was nothing in the cells to the right. But what if I put numbers in the cells to the right? Let's drag across and we'll click auto sum and there Excel shows me the total, not only of each of the people, but also, of course, of the various months. So there we looked at using auto cell by selecting, uh, auto sum by selecting a column. Let's put a tick in there. So there are the various ways that you can use auto sum that uh, many people are not aware of. So hopefully you found this video handy it's been a pleasure making, making it for you. And don't forget to subscribe unless you've already done so. Uh, please like and comment if needs be. See you next time.
Bye for now.